conversations with her over the years about what maybe toys are collectible and what you should keep. Good morning, Dr. Lori. Good morning. As March comes in like a lion, we're going to talk about spring cleaning. We're going to oh. talk about dumpster or dumpster, what goes out. We're all ready for big spring. Happy March, people. Happy <laughs> March. She's ready for I it like to warm it. up. <laughs> now, you know me, Laura, I'm always worried about storing things. So I like that we're focused on if we're going to keep it or not. And the threshold for today, of course, $50. $50, okay. you hold on to it or under $50. Well, that's where it goes out <laughs> with the spring cleaning. That's right. That's right. That's right. It's always good. The organization's really important because preservation goes with organization. So I help you with those on our website, of course, so you can learn what are my recommended things? What are the products that you need to store those pieces and preserve them? Because that relates to value. But today it's all about value too. Dumpster or no dumpster? You ready to play? I'm ready. Okay. Item number one. Let's see what we can. And by the way, Natalie and I do not see these be beforehand. No, I promise. No, no, and we've been no. doing well. I don't no, you've been doing right well. Then. And our <laughs> viewers have been doing well sending pieces into through, of course, the Facebook page at Tampa Bay's Morning Blend. So keep them coming. This All right. piece, Ooh. what do you think? Now, just out of the color, do you think it's a dumpster? Not the I mean, I like the color. I like the I, color. My first thought was Frozen in Elsa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Elsa could wear this, sure. Yeah. Now, we hear a lot about costume jewelry and how valuable that is. Where do accessories lie with that? Okay, so beaded purses like this one, this one which dates to about the 1920s. This is a Whiting oh. and Davis, so it's marked right inside. You have to look for um, marks like 925, for example, on the interior to see whether or not the actual... Um, the actual foundation of the purse, the clasp and such, is sterling silver. Sometimes they're as much as 800 parts per 1,000 pure silver. This oh, wow. one, in fact, is not. This one is not pure silver. It is all hand bead work. And, you know, your comment about Elsa is really interesting because those types of connections with vintage items oftentimes will impact their value. Huh. It I looked had... like it was in good condition, I might add. Right? Very, like, good, very good condition. And remember, color impact. Color has a big impact. When a certain color is popular in a time frame, it can impact value. You know what? On this end, I've held on to some of uh, heirlooms that have been purses. I always say, oh, maybe I'll carry them one day. I haven't, but they don't right. take up a lot of storage. So for that reason and your hints about color, I'm holding on to it and saying no dumpster. Well, and okay. I like the year of it. I feel like the vintage in that year is pretty cool to hold on to that stuff. But all right, so we're right. both saying no dumpster. And it's definitely a no dumpster. It's okay. worth about $90. They're very collectible. Some people will actually hang them on walls as artwork. Oh, I can see that. Using yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I could do that. All right, next up before we run out of time. Hmm, I could maybe do that. Ooh, this looks fancy. That's fancy. So is it this a, is an Egyptomania pendant. Of course, we'll go on a chain. You wear it around your neck. You can see, of course, the Egyptian head figure. That's hand-painted onto a piece of ceramic and then inlaid, actually, with early mine-cut diamonds. Wow. Definitely no dumpster. <laughs> yeah, no dumpster. I mean, you you say you say the D word. It's not just it's for Dr. Lori. It's also that's for diamonds. That's right. That's right. So yeah, we've got a really nice piece. I gave you a really easy one this time. It's worth about twelve hundred dollars. It's beautiful. It dates to about nineteen twenty-two. Uh, which was, of course, the date when King Tut's tomb was exhumed. So oh, Egyptian yeah. pieces were very popular in the twenties. Okay. Oh, very cool. Okay. All right. One, one more. We got a minute left. World's what? Fair makeup compact. You open it up, and you get your face powder from the 1933 Chicago's A Century of Progress World's Fair. So, do you keep the old makeup, or do you toss the old makeup? <laughs> Hey, oh, I look no. up those expiration dates all the time because I have a hard time throwing away makeup that is made in today's world, and I say dumpster. This, I know there's a lot of World's Fair. We've discussed that before. I may say this is the item for dumpster today. Maybe. Is there, yeah, I know. Is there a working mirror in it? I don't know. There's like, a working it's... mirror in it. Yes, if you opened it up, you would see some face powder that was used, and then the <laughs> on the on the top of it, on the underside of the mirror. Yep. <laughs> That is now past expiration date. I do guarantee that much. <laughs> I always have that debate. I don't know. Um, 
I'm going to say, I'll, I'll, I'll say no a, dumpster. I don't know. It is important to be careful about makeup. I know a lot about makeup and I have a lot of makeup and I talk a lot about makeup and collectibles. And you really have to think about those expiration dates and get new ones. It's for your safety of your eyes and your skin. It's important. It is. I'm sorry. <laughs> this particular one does have a collectability. It's worth about $50. So it's right on our, right right on on our level. But it doesn't hold fair. It's worth it. Like yeah. By the way, Lori, I love this. You're giving tips and then we also just did a PSA too. See, win win. <laughs> with Dr. Lori. <laughs> That's right. You can always win with her. Go online, find her on social media, on YouTube. She's everywhere, and we're so thankful that she joins us every week. Good to see you. Happy to be here.